Hey guys, what's going on? Foxy Q Core again. Um, today I was looking through my armors and stuff, and uh, just remembering what I what I had. And I have the Fat and Tacky Santa. Normally I use the Cyclone Guardian Dragon form for wind armor. Um, I can't remember what the Fat and Tacky Santa is. I mean, obviously it was this last year's Frostville uh, reward, but I don't remember anything about it. So I figured might as well do a review on it and uh, see what it's all about. Um, we'll hide that, so let's get right into it. So here's what the armor looks like. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't, it doesn't look amazing either. Um, it could be better, I guess. It could be better, that's for sure. Um, it just has kind of like a, a pretty much a tacky, tacky uh, description. So uh, let's see what the defenses are. Uh, with no shield. Hold on, I gotta exit that something. There we go. Uh, with no shield, it is looks like it's a wind and light armor. Um, and water, wind, light, and water, uh, mainly wind, it looks like, uh, obviously, we know it's wind, um, with my wind shield, uh, wind is down to 13%, which is actually, it's actually pretty good, uh, that's pretty good defense, actually, um, I don't know how hard it hits, um, this isn't really a good monster to test it on, since it appears that fire isn't its best defense, but we will figure it out, so, um, where is my, there's my fire shield, okay. Oh yeah, they attack in the opposite, don't they? That's fine, because, um, it's good with ice too, so. Uh, we'll try it with Chieftain's Iron Thorn, see how that hits. <clears throat> uh, it does hit pretty good, uh, your opponent doesn't get the reference, so that must be some sort of, um, passive that it has, maybe it stuns them, uh, oh, right here. Oh, it went away. Dang. Well, it definitely hits decently high. Um, definitely hits pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty solid hit it has. Um, pretty good damage output. So we will try it again. Simple as that. So it does have an ability skill. Um, we'll see what that is. 501, 372. Um, that's pretty good. It's actually really good. And this monster is level 135, so it's a relatively high monster. Uh, obviously not the normal high monsters that I would fight, but that was over a thousand damage um, right there, just in basics. So that's pretty good. Uh, Looks-wise, I mean, it's not bad. It doesn't look terrible. I don't get the yellow hat thing. Maybe that was something to do with the quest or something, but it doesn't look terrible. But it doesn't look amazing either, uh, in my opinion. Uh, where's my fire? There it is. Okay, lightsaber. This is hitting a little lower, but his fire is only 115%. Uh, let's see what this does. So that's a wind attack. Um, his wind's only 100, so it's not going to hit that high. But it does attack multiple times, it looks like. Maybe five or six times, or four to six times, something like that. So uh, that is useful, obviously. The more something attacks, usually the better it is. So... Um, this guy's weak to ice and fire, so uh, where I'm gonna use my ice weapon. I think my blade of awe is ice. Um, so far it's a pretty decent armor. I always use. I haven't even looked at it yet. Um, at least I don't remember looking at it. Uh, one hundred percent chance each round of striking itself instead of the opponent. That's pretty good. Um, I don't. I didn't see how hard he. Whoa. Oh, he's level 155. Uh, I didn't see how hard he hit himself, but I guess that's pretty good. It's just a little bit more extra damage on your side, so... Where is my... There it is. A little bit of extra damage on your side, so that's always good. Oh, he's going to attack and light easy. Uh, I'll just leave. I don't feel like dealing with that. I don't feel like going try hard for a video. At least not yet. I'll just heal up. Uh, oop, misclick. Let's click. 
Going to another monster. Clover the Undead Dude, level 117. This will be decent, I guess. Uh, we'll go back to him. And what do you want to use? Energy, light. Let's use light. There's a weird looking weapon. What's his wind? 50? No. So he didn't hit that high. I mean, his light's only 110, so it's not going to hit like terribly high, but. So, striking himself, it only did 63 damage. I mean, it's better than no damage, but whatever, you know. Um, I think I would prefer the passive of it to, like, stun the person um, rather than just hitting himself. I mean, if it only hits 60, that's, you know, that's whatever. Um, so it's ice, huh? We'll put on that. Fire. Cool. 816, even with defenses on. Alrighty. Doesn't get the reference. Strikes himself. 71. A little higher, but, you know, not the best. What's his wind? 75. I kind of want to see how strong this, this <coughs> armor skill actually is. Hit a 60 on himself. It happens quite often, though, which is pretty nice. He needs to stop being a little prick. Stop hitting so high. It does happen quite often, so that's pretty, that's pretty nice. Um, it's definitely nice. Just finish him off with a decimate there. We'll heal up and we will test the. We'll go attack the Giotto clan and test the armor skill and then uh, we'll end the review. Now I know obviously it's been a long time since this armor came out, so I'm sure there's plenty, plenty of of reviews on it, but gotta start somewhere. I can remember what it was. I don't even think I've ever seen it to be honest. So. So we'll switch to it. Their wind is only, what, 110? Yeah, their wind's only 110, so. And it looks like Earth is its weakness, obviously, because it's wind. Didn't show what I hit, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. 298. I mean, provides a penalty save to any saves against control. Okay. So the passive of the armor skill works in, or works together with the passive of just the armor, it appears. So they have a less likely chance of resisting your confusion thing. Um. 200% everything. Hopefully it doesn't one hit me. Oh, no, it's not going to one hit me. <clears throat> so let's see how high it hits. So that was on 200% everything, so it wasn't wasn't that bad. Um, definitely not the best, because if you look at the armor skill for this, which is my other wind armor, I mean, look how huge that hit. It hits three times. It was over, like, 2,000 damage. I mean, for raw just damage, I do believe that my original wind armor, Cyclone Guardian Dragon, is in fact better. I hate that stupid. Prevent me from attacking. Look at that. He can just pound into me. Like, how fair is that? I mean, look at that damage, you know. So I do think that this armor is better. Um, but if you don't have this armor, it's definitely a good. Um, it's definitely a, a good, a good wind armor. So um, if you do have it and you're not sure whether or not to use it, and you haven't looked at a review yet, and you stop by here, I would suggest you use it. Um, it is definitely good. If you don't have Wind Guardian Dragon, then. Um, I don't really see the point in using it, but whatever floats your boat.
So that'll be the first hour review. Uh, I'll do more, um, definitely. And if you guys have any other content that you want to see, just let me know and comment on the video, and I will get it up.